10 Beauty Changes You Should Embrace During Quarantine Being a woman in the 21st century isn't easy. We tweeze and pluck against our skin, we burn our hair, we slick glue onto our eyelids, and we damage our nails. We cover our skin in powder and pull our cuticles out. And now, it's time to breathe and embrace our natural self. What a unique chance we have here. For the first time in modern history, the whole world is self-isolating. Hitting the pause button and slowing down to engage in some self-care is something you probably never really had much time for before. Now you've got nothing but time. And it's a good excuse to embrace your natural beauty. Number 1. Growing those eyebrows out. Don't you think your brows have suffered enough? Someone threading them, pulling at them and shaping them. Maybe they are overplucked? Or you are just curious to see how your brows will look like once they are full. Whatever the case, it's not like you can book an appointment at the salon anyways, so let your eyebrows do their thing and row properly. Number 2. Leaving your lashes alone. If you're someone who gets their lashes done, whether that's tinted or false lashes attached, give it a rest. The more you work on your lashes, the more prone they are to falling out. Most women who do apply fake lashes tend to have none of their own over time. So if you are someone who loves a nice lash, start growing your own and invest in a lash serum that could help bring them back out to their old strong self. Number 3. Stop adding heat to your hair. If you're someone who regularly blow dries, straightens or curls their hair, then girl this is your time to go all natural. You aren't leaving your house, so this is a great opportunity to stop using heat on your hair and instead use as many treatments as you can. Number 4. Skip the nail polish. As tempting as it is to grab a colorful nail polish to brighten things up a bit, try and keep your nails bare. Instead cut your nails a little short and use a cuticle oil or a nail strengthener to give them life and get them growing fresh and new. Number 5. Start dry brushing. Dry brushing is kind of annoying and time-consuming. But the results are worth it. Celebs like Miranda Kerr vouch for dry brushing as a life-changing addition to their beauty routine. Dry brushing the skin really is as simple as it sounds. All you need is a large, firm and bristled brush. You sweep it across the skin from toes to top. Even though dry brushing is a relatively new trend, it was commonly used in Ayurvedic medicine for years. Benefits include softer skin, increased circulation, gets rid of dead skin cells, and people who dry brush have reduced cellulite. Do it every night or day before you take a shower, then take your time, now that we've got plenty of it. Number 6. Drink a lot of water. Now that you're home, you should have access to water 24-7. According to the Mayo Clinic, an average man should drink 3.7 liters a day, while a woman should drink 2.3 liters a day. However reality is different, and most people end up usually consuming much less. Try and drink this much water to see what it does to your face. Better skin, brighter eyes, stronger nails and shinier hair. Drink your first bottle of water as soon as you wake up and try and always stay hydrated throughout the day. This will also reduce your appetite, which may be something we all need stuck at home with little movement. Number 7. Take a break from makeup. Makeup isn't exactly bad for your skin or else more women would stop wearing it. But at some point it gets a little bit tough for your pores to breathe when they are covered with powder or liquid foundation. Also, the more you see yourself without makeup, the happier you will be with your natural face. Like we said, this is the time to embrace your natural beauty. Let your skin thrive with a skin care routine, lack of sun and outdoor pollutants, tons of water and lots of sleep, hopefully. So don't cover up all the effort you've been doing with makeup. Let your skin shine. Number 8. Stop wearing tight clothes and high heels. Our bodies aren't made to be squeezed and squished into tight dresses, skinny jeans, corsets and waist trainers. It's really best to let your organs enjoy the space they deserve and take advantage of this time by rocking all the sweepants. Wear socks and walk around barefoot. Don't constrict your feet with shoes, especially high heels, which honestly, look great, but totally mess up the alignment of your spine. Plus they give you bunions. Really enjoy the feeling of comfort and not wearing outside clothes. Number 9. Sleep. Now that there's no commute, you should be enjoying a lot more sleep. Sleep is the number one beauty booster and immunity booster. Get a lot of it while you can. Enjoy a longer lie-in, but also try and go to bed early. Number 10. Put your phone away. Every single phone screen emits a blue light, which causes the brain activity to increase right before bedtime, when we should be doing the exact opposite. If you really can't live without your phone, then dim your screen, switch on night mode if possible, or download a dimming app, so you can keep your brain activity low.